Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to continue on with our Apollonian problems and now we come to the circle, circle, and point. Two circles, one point, or uh, PCC as I uh, tend to write it. I know other sources will go uh, CCP, they put the more complicated object first, but uh, yeah, this is the way I was taught. Okay. So this case has, in general, four solutions, and that's what we're going to go for. But we're going to need to pay special attention to this one because the ultimate goal of the, the Apollonian problems is to solve the circle, circle, circle case. And in this video, we're going to learn um, the, the underlying technique that we are going to reduce the circle, circle, circle case to. And in the next video, we're actually going to talk about the technique of reducing uh, problems involving circles and just circles and lines to some of our earlier problems. And so for the big one, circle, 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 we'll be reducing that to circle, circle, point. So we want to pay special attention to how we solve this one. Okay. So using a uh, straight edge and compass techniques, we get ourselves the midpoints of the two circles. Uh, not particularly difficult to do, and we're going to connect them up. Okay. And now that we have a line running through their centers, we can get the perpendicular uh, sort of diameters. And it's these perpendicular diameters that are going to give us some points on the outside of the circle, some very particular points on the outside of the circle. I guess I could be using the intersect technique or intersect tool. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to be finding some very special points that you can you can always find when you have two circles in, in just such an arrangement. Uh, I've heard the, 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 the particular points called a number of names. Uh, centers of similitude, uh, I think, is, is one of them. Uh, center of uh, inversion is a good one. Uh, there's another one that I always have trouble pronouncing, the, the homothetes hom center. H O actually I don't think I can spell it on camera. Anyway, the idea behind finding these centers is this: you get uh, pairs of points on the circles, but such that they, when you connect them up to the centers, they make the same angle. So uh, we've got our points up here at the top. They both, when connected up to the center, make right angles to the line going through the cent the two centers. And we get their tangent lines, and they're going to intersect the line going through the centers of the circles all at the same point. Okay, so this is this is one nice point. But there's another one. Uh, so this is what happened when we connected uh, points that made the same angle but were on opposite sides. Now what happens if we connect points that make the same angle on the same side? Well, we get a different center over here. Okay. Uh, inversion centers, centers uh, of similarity or similitude. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what we call them, but if you're interested in these sorts of constructions, you, you have a, 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 a way to now search for them. But uh, we're not going to delve into the wonderful properties that these uh, particular points have, but each of these points, and we're going to use these points in our construction, will lead us to two separate solutions, uh, two separate tangent circles to the, the whole system, and that will... Uh, give us four solutions in total. So we're going to get rid of basically all the points that we've we already worked with. This was just to construct those particular centers. Those particular points, these two right here. Okay. So what are we going to do from there? Well, we're going to take each point in turn and do the following. We're going to get the tangent lines from that point to one of the circles, and those lines will also be tangent to the other circles. Those are the nice properties. I'll just show you very quickly. It works with the other point as well. And this is not true of just any old point out there. You know, I pick a point and I do tangents to one circle, not tangent to the other circle. So this is a very nice special property. Okay. So um, now, having done that, so for this, this center, uh, tangent lines, you, you pick one tangent line and get the points where it connects to the other circles. And we're going to use our three points, determine a center or PPP case to get, the cent uh, to get a circle uh, 
going through these three points, the two points of tangency and uh, the, the uh, given point. We haven't used him yet, uh, the given point from the, the problem. Okay, and this circle uh, is going to determine two other points for us. One, we're going to connect our given point up to uh, the, the sort of center of similarity or center of similitude that we have constructed here. And when we connect that line up, it intersects this, uh, this circle that we constructed, the purple circle, in two places. We're going to need this point up here because we're going to use uh, the PPP or, or three points to determine a circle technique with our given point, this new point we've constructed, and um, actually now it just reduces to point, point, and pick one of these circles, doesn't matter which one. And uh, just do the regular PPC case that we've already covered in a previous video. So we'll just quickly construct that, get a circle running through the two standard points, and uh, get the, the intersection points of these with the chosen circle. We'll have to zoom out a fair bit. There we get our intersection point there. And then, uh, I'm blanking on what to do next. It's a point, point, circle. We connect, oh, it's a, yeah, tangent points, or tangent lines with the circle we chose. There we go. So we get two tangent points, and each of these will give us the desired uh, desired circle. So we take this point, tangent point, and the second point we gave, and look, it's tangent to the two circles and runs through this point. And I do the same thing here. Okay. Now uh, we're going to clean this up a bit, but before I use our second constructed point. Uh, I thought I would briefly show what happens if we make some different choices. Okay. So we started off by uh, choosing this this one tangent line, and then we got it's the the points of tangency with those two circles. What if we chosen the other tangent line? You know, what if we'd chosen those two points instead of the, the original two tangency points? What would we do then? What, would we get different circles? In fact, we would not. Remember, our first step was then to connect our starting point with these three, and it passes through that same secondary. So we would have gotten the same secondary point that we constructed. Okay, so there wouldn't have been anything new there. And then what was the next thing we did? We chose to use uh, the circle over here on the left. What if we'd chosen to use the circle here on the right for our construction? Well, it still would have been fine. Okay. And look here, we, we, the, we have these points of tangency and they would have determined the same two red circles. Okay. So really, there's nothing that we did that was special. We got the same two circles either way. And they all came about from this original constructed point. So now we'll get rid of everything except our new red triangles. And we can even get rid of this, uh, this inversion point here, this inversion center. And now we do the exact same construction with our other point. Okay, But now, this time, since the tangent lines, uh, we pick so the tangent lines sort of graze the same side. The points of tangency that we pick for a single line will sort of lie on the same side of the circles. But the exact same process goes through. Circle through those two points of chosen tangency, and you would get the same sort of results if we'd chosen the other line, the other tangent line, and its points of tangency. And then what do we do? Well, we connect our given point up with our, our constructed uh, point here from the two circles. And then that intersects this purple circle in a second location. So now we have two points and we've reduced it to point, point, circle because this point will lie on the two tangent points. Okay. So now uh, what do we need? Well, we need, we'll pick this circle here. 
Do a circle running through it. Drop the uh, secant line. Intersects there, and now we get points of tangency. And those points of tangency, along with the second point that we constructed, give us our circles. And we'll clean it up and admire our picture. So there we go. We have our four general solutions. You can see we have one that's uh, externally tangent to, to both the circles, then there's sort of an external internal, an external internal, and then there's one that's sort of internal to the whole system. Well, that's very nice, and uh, we can move things around a bit and see, oh, how does this all work? We can move our point around, and I, I think it's kind of beautiful that it just sort of unfolds like that and then comes back together. Well, there you have it, point, circle, circle, and this one's going to be especially important to know when we do finally tackle the general case of circle, 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 or CCC, but that will be in a future video. Um, we, I think we're done all the things involving points, so it'll just be lines and circles from now on, and there's going to be an interesting technique that we'll talk about in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.